All right, well, it looks like the kids have found a place to stay and out too, of the sun. I'm too tall to be down there with them anyway. That's right. Hey, everybody, welcome to At Your Leisure. I'm Kevin Mortensen. And I'm Gina Mortensen. And we are in Fremont Indian State Park. Yes, we are. You know, the town of Joseph actually invited us down because they wanted to highlight the area around their town. Now, Joseph is located in Sevier County right before you go through the canyon like you were going to Marysville. So you stopping short a little bit of Marysville. They want you to see this side of the mountain and there's a lot of stuff to see here. It's in our backyard, so we really should be experts, but we're not. So we've got a lot to explore today. We're going to hang out here at the Fremont Indian State Park. We're gonna check out what's out here in the dirt and then we're gonna go inside and lie in Kevin's wallet just a little bit. As is typical. <laughs> then we're gonna go check out the town of Joseph and then we're gonna to try to find some trails that aren't the most common trails, but they're offshoots of the Paiute ATV trail. Before we go do all that, let's go check out the park. Let's go. Let's do it. A unique aspect of Fremont Indian State Park is we offer an opportunity to view rock art panels throughout the canyon. There's over 3,000 rock art panels that you can uh, stop in, you can see and enjoy throughout this area. It's an amazing place to bring the family and kids. We offer two really neat campgrounds where you can come, stay, spend a weekend. And if you don't have that type of time, you can come in and uh, ride your off-highway vehicle in right off the uh, Paiute ATV trail system, which comes right through the middle of the park. Spring and fall, we are still open. But uh, the best time, of course, is the summer because you can come here, you can camp, you can stay and play. Um, the creek that runs through the canyon has some amazing fishing opportunities, not to mention the off-highway vehicle opportunities that we offer. There's numerous trails that you can get out, um, see the sights, and uh, enjoy the, the mountains nearby. They're going to find a lot of really great opportunities to see petroglyphs pictographs and pictoglyphs. We are actually one of the few parks in Utah that have all three kinds of rock art. And the rock art is kind of what bring people here. But what we focus on mostly is um, the Fremont culture, which is around 400, 300 AD. So, you know, close to a thousand years ago. So the Junior Ranger program, we've got this uh, little booklet, kind of an activity booklet for kids to work through during their visit here and it'll kind of, there will be some activities they can do during their time here in the museum, as well as when they're out on the trails hiking and seeing the petroglyphs. And then when they get it all completed, um, they bring this in and get it signed by one of our staff here and become awarded a badge and become official junior rangers for the park. We have really had a wonderful time here at Fremont Indian State Park. There's a lot to do. There's inside, outside, a little bit of exercise, and there's a lot of history and fun, right? Yeah. Learned a little something? Yeah. No? Yes. Spent some money? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, emptied yeah. my wallet. <laughs> if you're out here, you're going to want to check out the panels outside, so good weather, good time to visit. You know what I'm thinking about? I'm thinking about that trail heading up that mountain into the pine trees. We should really go see it. Let's go see it. Let's send you guys off to this week's Where To, and we're going to hit the trail. Let's go, guys. All right. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We've finally made it to Joseph and I'm hungry, so it's a you good know, place to be. You know, I love these small towns. They all have their unique character. We've got girls, they're ready to use the restroom. I, they've got some great hamburgers in there and we've got to put some gas in this thing. So I'm, I'm kind of anxious to see what Joseph has to offer. Let's go find out. Let's go check it out. Well, just outside of Joseph itself, we've got a majority directions you can go. You can go north, you can go south, you can go east, you can go west, and you're on one of the three best mountains in, I want to say, in the U.S., or just right here. Most of the trails are within minutes. Um, you can be on and enjoying with your family. That fun going up there? Yeah. I'm glad I'm with him. <laughs> My mom wouldn't do that. She's kind of like, Anybody that says comes right here to this RV park, um, they can, they're, I'm just down the road from this RV park and they'll have access to everything they want. We have 22 spots, they're all full service, so you got 30 or 50 amp, you know, water, sewer, etc. Um, we also have a pavilion where you can host parties, family reunions and whatnot. There's also a cabin that you can stay in that'll sleep four people. And he's got places for tents, what do they have out there? They've got a fire pit, 
They've got a, a, a dog park. But let's say you've got your fifth wheel pulled up out there and you wanted a place for the kids to sleep at night so that they're, you know, kid doing what kids do and smelling up the cabin instead like of your trailer. Teenagers. I'd put them in here. I'd rent this for the night and, and put the kids in here. It has a refrigerator and microwave and a TV. That's all the kids need. Just needs an Xbox and Wi-Fi. There's no Xbox and no Wi-Fi. There actually is Wi-Fi and great cell phone signal. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> Nothing. We got no signal. Well, you usually know right when you walk in if you found the right place, and this is one of those places. The hamburger smell, right when you walk in, look what they're doing over here. They're cooking them to order for us, and I have heard, not from just one person, that these are the best hamburgers in the valley, and we're about ready to find out why. But come look what they've got. So you need to come in and get some gas. You want a clean restroom, they've got a, 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 that is super important. You've been on the trail all day, you've got some ladies with you, your kids. You want a clean restroom, they've got it. Grab a drink. Look at the ambiance, the wood floors. Chocolate, chocolate. Look, chocolate. Oh, Mom, I'll help you right now. <laughs> but you know what? They have more than just the store. They've got an RV park. They've got an Airbnb. When you see that kind of stuff, you may just want to come stay here in Joseph because this is just a great place to get out of the t out of the big city and come to a small town, have a little bit of everything that you actually need, and it's a really quiet, slow pace of life. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed our tour of the Flying U and the town of Joseph, and I hope you really, you know, put it on your itinerary to come down. But this food is ready. It looks great. How is it? Mm, great. Live up to all expectations? Oh, yeah. All right, well, what's that? You're not done? Chocolate. Oh, my gosh. Apparently, uh, Gina's uh, reputation precedes her. Thank well, you we dig into now. these... Uh, M&M's, we're going to send you guys off to this week's Along the Way, sponsored by Rocky Mountain ATV MC. All right, great. Looks like the kids have found some water. Seems like everywhere we go, they find the water. Water <laughs> equals mud. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We found the perfect little spot just off of the highway. And Max Reed, I bet you know right where we're at right now, but for everybody else, we're on the Max Reed Trail about five minutes away from Fremont State Park, and we had to stop and let the kids play here because this is a cool, 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 cool place. It is beautiful. It's secluded, and this is the perfect place to have lunch or anything when you don't want to be on the main trail. That's right, but we're not going to stop for very long. I know the Silver King Mine is just at the top of this trail, and there's some other cool stuff up there to see. So let's get on the trail and go. Hey, while we go check out what's up this trail, we're gonna send you off to find out who this week's sticker winner is. This week's sticker winner was submitted to us on Facebook by Fatima Nawabi. And it looks like Fatima is the lucky winner of an outdoor stove from Camp Chef. Camp Chef offers the best way to get your cooking done in the outdoors. Visit CampChef.com for more details. Congratulations and be sure to call us at 801-947-8888 to claim your prize. Now, Let's take a look at our trail of the week. This week's trail is the Poison Springs to the Big Ridge Trail, which is located in Garfield County and offers some amazing remote desert views. For more information on this trail or any of the other trails that have been completed on the Trails 360 project, visit outsiders.zone. Now let's take a look at next week's show. Next week, Chad Booth is teaming up with the Bighorn Four Wheel Drive Off-Road Club as they adventure into the farthest northwest corner of the state to explore some of the unique rock formations on some of the most remote trails. Then, Reese Stein is taking us to the primitive side of Las Vegas as he shows off an ideal desert experience at the Sloan Canyon National Conservation Area. Finally, we meet up with some American mountain men as they prepare a week-long float down the Bear River with only the bare essentials in an attempt to make the same journey as the famed mountain man, Jim Bridger. Next week's show looks great. I agree with Carter. You don't want to miss that show, but this week we had a great time. It's always a great time when you can get out of school. Yeah. <laughs> no homework today. And play on trails. And the trails we were on today were perfect for families. They're perfect for any skill level. You can go really fast. Have a lot of fun, take it easy, enjoy a fun day with your family. You know, I want to thank Carter and his parents, Ralph and Jaquel, for coming out. Jaron, for coming out with us today. And, and of course, Lenny Hartle, who is our guide. Find him on Instagram and YouTube at Rocky Mountain Backcountry. He's got a lot of great content. We want to also especially thank the town of Joseph for inviting us out and showing us around. Yes. If you're ever in the area, stop in, get some gas, have one of those great hamburgers. And don't forget, 
that you can find us on YouTube. You can also find us on Roku at your leisure and check all of the great trails at www.outsiders.zone. So as you make your way around the state, just remember that there's adventure around every bend. You just have to get out there and create it yourself. At your at leisure. Your leisure.